Linux Gamer here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things I learned from putting together the models from the Blackstone Fortress. Uh, a lot of mistakes were made in recording the video, uh, putting the models together, but that's how we learn or from making our mistakes. I'm going to be showing you the tools that I used, how I used them, and in what situations we used them and some of the things that I had to do special to get these models put together. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to talk about are some of the tools that we're going to use or possibly use. Now the first tool that I picked up is a toothbrush. It's a soft bristle toothbrush and when you first get the, the minis, they come in spools and they have resin that's around on those spools when they pull them out. So what you want to do is take the soft toothbrush and get in there with some hot soapy water and clean the resin off. So just lightly going over it uh, will clean off all that resin that's built up on these. It helps the paint to stick in the primer. The next tool that you're going to want. Uh, pair of cutters. These are used to cut the parts out of the spool. Now the part, the one that I have here, this is a pair of small uh, small side cutters is actually what they are. Um, there are some that have smaller heads on them so that you can get in real tight. With these you can't get in really tight but I'm going to show you how I actually use these to get a good tight cut with these. The other thing that you're going to want is a hobby knife. Now I picked this up at the local hardware store and it's a Craftsman and this actually adjusts the blade will go out and in and, and I keep it down short so that you can get in there and clean the mold lines and take away any stubs that might be left over on the models. Also, you can use this to make adjustments to your model if you want to do some extra detail work. The other thing that you should have are some small files. These come in a pack that I also picked up at the hardware store. Uh, they have a round, a flat. Uh, they have very pointy ones so you can get into real small places. Uh, these work good when you want to get rid of extra stubs or tight places that you want to clean up. The other thing that they say you should have, and you can go down to any drugstore and actually get this, it's a nail file. And I use this for cleaning off the bottom of feet or bottom of bases or, you know, it takes away a larger chunk of the plastic itself. So, another thing that I like to have around are a pair of scissors. This is mostly used for cutting off the wrapping of any models or tools that you have. Now another thing that you're definitely going to want and I'm using the snap together parts right now but you want to get super glue. Uh, this is Gorilla Super Glue that I have. I got this at the local hardware store again and the snap-ons don't really need it but in some places I actually did have to use it and I'll show you where that is. Now another thing that you really should have is a bag of rubber bands. This is not going to be used with the snap together but when you get into models that aren't snapped together you're going to want to use the rubber band to wrap around the model to hold it tighter until the glue dries. And, and that's just an added tool that you probably should want. A couple other things I have around that I use for the filming or for putting models together some duct tape or you know I put a little right here put a piece of duct tape right there and poster putty is another one that you should get you can get this in any drugstore or hardware store and we use that for fastening the minis down to things and I'm going to show you something in advance here I got this bed knob at the local hardware store they were about three bucks a pack for two of them and what you do is you take this poster putty and you put it on top. Now you have to take the screw out first, but once you get the screw out, you put the poster putty on top. You knead it up a little bit, stick it on there, 
and you put the model on top of it and this will hold it in place this way you've got a good grip so that you can get in there and paint or you know do any extra detail work or anything that you have there's other things that you could use for this such as medicine bottles old paint can you know spray paint cans actually uh, Citadel actually has one that they do sell uh, that you clamps right in there and you can use but but that's what I use this for right here the first model starting out the Rogue Trader this had four pieces uh, that had to be put together uh, A3 and A4 went together with no issue However, I ran into a problem with A1 and A2. A2 is basically the arms. And they were to just kind of fit into the front of the body, which was A1. And then you press together the back and the front to hold in the arms. Well, I was having a major issue with this because I couldn't hold the front body and the arms and then try to put the back end together the arms kept falling out so with the arms I put a tack of super glue on them to hold them in place once I got everything together I put the base on now it has a little bar and it fits into the slot so I kinda had to file a little bit to get it to fit perfectly but I put basically one end in and then flip and push the rest of it so it wasn't really all that hard to do now there was another issue that I ran into um, when I went to go move something I forgotten that the little super glue had gotten on a page and ended up sticking a little bit to the table so uh, when you're using the super glue and you're testing it out just try it somewhere else or you end up with this issue right here fighting with trying to get it off your fingers and off the table now as you can see I had the angle of the camera really low so it is hard to see so I do apologize for that but this model went together probably about five minutes to get this one all snapped together and ready to go so it actually came out pretty good not really a whole lot of problems with it in this video I showed you the tools uh, that you should be using when putting the models together and some that you possibly would want to have. I also went over the building of one of the explorers, the Rogue Trader. And something that I learned from this was that the camera has to be up higher pointing down onto the model so that you can get a better view of what I'm doing. But overall, I think it was pretty productive what I did so and i hope that you'll come back for more and watch the progress as i make uh learning how to paint and put this stuff together and hopefully you'll learn from it too so until next time